Thank you so much for waiting. Um, let's start it. Time. Hi, I'm Jackie from the Czech Republic. I always believed in the magic of the first sip. No matter how much time passes or how many different coffees you have tried, you always remember your first favorite coffee, right? For me, it was the harmony of sweetness and fruitiness that kept me dreaming about this coffee that I had five years ago. But today, I believe that I have found that magic in the cup again, and I would love to share with you. I will brew the same variety from the same farm, but this time with more controlled processing, which improves the clarity and transparency of flavors. It has a dominant sweetness, yet it beautifully preserves its unique and true characteristic of this variety. And this attention to details elevates the cup and pushes the taste experience even further. I'm gonna start with 16 grams of coffee that I pre-ground on Thai Moss Copter 78. And I chose this grinder for the consistency. My grinding settings today is a medium cost size of 600 microns. And this particular size helps me to have a well-balanced and complex cup of coffee. Today I'm choosing a plastic polycarbonate dripper to maintain its stable temperature during my brewing time. And as you can see, it is a flat bottom dripper. This will give me a full of body and panel-like sweetness. For brewing today, I'm gonna to use my own water. It has 120 ppm of total hardness for smoothness and 30 ppm of alkalinity to allow the acidity to show itself in the cup. The ratio today is one to 15. I'm going for 240 ml of water in four different stages and each one of them is 60 ml of water and the key is to give enough time for the water to go through the coffee bed before each pour to increase the extractions and with the help of two kettles of 94 degrees I can extract its beautiful botanical notes from this coffee that I like so much so from 240 ml of water I'm gonna get 196 ml of brewed coffee I roasted this coffee two weeks ago on a Probat drum roaster with a total time of 9 minutes and 1 minute of development time, achieving 11% of DTR. I chose a drum roaster because as a drum roaster, it enhanced the body and increased the sweetness. And um, I kept it light. As a light roast, it preserved its beautiful floral and stone-free characters from this coffee. Today is 14 days of resting. The coffee is fully opened up, making now the ideal time to brew this amazing coffee for the richest taste experience. Everything should be ready by now. So let's brew this amazing coffee. This coffee is truly amazing. In flavors, when hot and warm, you will find peach, red apples, red berries. Plums and honey. When cold, you will find yellow apples and peach. The aftertaste is long and lingering. And you will find layers of peach green tea and white flowers. The acidity of this coffee is medium plus and it's citric and malic in all stages, hot, warm and cold. And that reminds me of peach again, raspberries, red apples, and bergamot. The sweetness is medium plus. 
when hot and warm, it's honey-like. Ripe peach. As it cools, it becomes juicier and reminds me of peach juice. And the mouthfeel is my favorite part. It has a smooth and silky texture. It is full when hot and warm and becomes very juicy when it's cold. And that's why I decided today for a thin wallet cup that is in front of you to highlights its amazing tactile and elevates the sophisticated flavors of this coffee. So, I'm almost ready with my brewing. For the aroma, I would like to ask you to follow my instruction after I call my time. So, Swirl like this four to five times. Take a deep sniff, and you will find gentle notes of green tea and white flowers. Repeat it again after 10 seconds. And on this take, you will find high sweetness of panella, stone fruits, and pineapple. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so my coffee today is Geisha from Hacienda Les Mirada. This coffee was picked three months ago in January, early this year, at Caramelo Farm that is located at 17 meters above sea level in Boquete, in Panama. Right after picking, all the cherries went straight up on the African beds for three days of tree drying. After this, the, cherry, the cherries were put into a sealed tank to ferment at 16 degrees for five days. And that was the moment when the lactic acid was created to, enhance, to improve the tactile and the complexity of the flavors. After this, the cherries went into another room of 18 degrees, sitting on the racks for drying for 15 days for 18, um, at 18 degrees to lock in all the flavors and the acidity that was created before. And in the last step, the cherries went outside again for the last nine days of drying. This year is even more meaningful because it's been 20 years since the new era of the geisha in Panama at Esmeralda. And sharing this coffee with you today, sharing the same coffee as 20 years ago, but with a new drying method, it's like I'm discovering its magic all over again. And this experience is more than just a taste. It is um, a symphony of fruitiness and sweetness that is keep changing in all stages, from hot to cold. And for me personally, it's like a bridge to my old memory of the very first sip that truly changed everything. Now I believe it's time for you to enjoy this amazing coffee. And I would like to remind you again for my instructions after I come in time. So please, swill like this four to five times. Repeat again after 10 seconds. And once you're ready to go, you can pour into the white cups for you to enjoy, okay? And also the glass over here is for the glass lid. Thank you very much. This here. Enjoy. This for you. Enjoy. And the last one for you. Please enjoy. It's really amazing coffee. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, I'm Jackie from the Czech Republic. Time.